Oh yeah, so good. Love it. You should taste these plants and grass. It's so good. Oh, excuse my manners. My name is... So hungry. Oh yeah, my name is Brachiosaurus. Wow, I'm hungry. Yes, I know I don't look a kilogram over 60 tons, but I'm still growing. I'll get to be about 16 meters tall. Anyway, I think there's a forest over there I can eat. After all, I'd eat my 200 kilograms of food a day. Aren't you scared of me? All dinosaurs are scared of the Allosaurus. No, no, I'm a Brachiosaurus, a plant-eating dinosaur. I'm a herbivore. Bye. Hmm, all this talk of food is making me really hungry. Huh? Huh? The herd! Yay! I thought I lost you guys. Excuse me while I join my herd. Oh, I'm lost again. Hey, look, a delicious forest. Yes, there you go. Well, hello. I'm Mutaburasaurus. Yeah, see you with me. Muta Buddha Saurus. And welcome to the early Cretaceous period. Yes, I'm named after Mutabura. The place where they found my fossil in what is now known as Australia. As you can see, I'm the top of my game when it comes to eating these cicad trees. But how's your honking? Bruce. He can honk louder than any Mutaburasaurus around. Mm, yes, yeah, you see, we have these little honkers up here on our heads that we make our calls from. I challenge you to a honk off. A honk off, eh? Hmm, yeah, you're on. I'm a pretty big dino. I'm nine meters long. And I'm a herbivore. Not bad. But try this one. Good, that was a real good one. Uh-oh, we seem to have called the whole herd over. Well, since we're all here, why don't we have a honk along? Great idea. See you next time. I'm Nothronicus. That's Nothron I Cuss. And welcome to our late Cretaceous TV show. No, your dinosaurs. Joining me today are my best buddies, Custard and Ronnie. Hi. Hi. We're talking about what makes us really different from other dinos. Custard, any thoughts? Um, we're on TV. Uh, good try, but no. Even though we're theropods, we don't eat meat. You see, most theropods are carnivores. Great, now I'm hungry. Oh, oh, I've got one. We have very fine feathers covering our whole bodies. Mm-hmm. What else is different about us from most dinos? We have these long claws for snipping leaves and branches. And our teeth aren't sharp, but they're perfect for mashing up plants. And we drool when we chew with our mouths open. I'm not drooling. Let's not forget that we need to eat a lot because we're really big. As big as this giraffe fella here. All right, all right, thanks for coming on the show. We live in what is now called New Mexico. 
And that's our show! Join us next time in the late Cretaceous period as we discuss asteroids, real or are they a myth? So, who wants to get something to eat? Psst, hello, I'm the Argentinosaurus. That's Argentinosaurus. I'm trying to hide. Oh no, this is not a good place to hide. You see, I'm playing hide and seek with my friends, but I don't think I'm very good at it. I am from what is now known as Argentina. That is in South America. Ugh. This is hopeless. I am too big to hide. That's what you get for being over 70 metric tons and 23 meters long. I am even longer than three school buses. Mmm, yum! As a herbivore, I love eating plants. That bush looks too delicious. What are you doing? You're eating my hiding place. I am sorry I get so hungry. I need to eat 45 kilograms of food a day. And all this running and hiding, well, it just made me hungrier. Aha, uh -huh. got you both. You two are really bad at this game. I think I'm just too big for this game, but maybe we can play something else. Whee! Whee! <laughs> oh, hello. And welcome to the late Jurassic period. I'm Ultrasaurus. Ultra cool, ultra special, ultra big. It's easy to say my name. Ultrasaurus. Hey, Allosaurus. Should I have an audience? Ultrasaurus, he is the one. Ultrasaurus, that's me. When you think of the biggest dino ever, think of me. I'm so big. Hey, how big are you? I'm so big that when I sit around the pond, I really sit around the pond. <laughs> ha cha 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 cha. Ultrasaurus, he's the one. I'm a herbivore, so I eat lots and lots of plants. Lots. I have to to get this big. He's as big as a bus, folks. Actually, I'm bigger than a bus, Al. I'm as tall as a three-story building. Next floor, socks. But some people think I'm not an Ultrasaurus. They think I'm really just a huge Brachiosaurus, since we look alike. Mm, no, you're Ultrasaurus. You're the one. I'm from what is now known as Colorado, USA. What's the weather like up there? So you want to have a look? Uh, yeah, I'd love to. Going up. E. Oh. That's too bad. I, I was just about to show him where his house was. Hi, everyone. I'm a woolly mammoth. You can call me Wooly. My name says it all. I'm big, I'm fuzzy, and I'm lost. I mean, really, how could I find my herd if everything is covered in snow? Welcome to the Ice Age. 100,000 years ago, I guess. Eep. Hey! What's the big deal? <laughs> my long shaggy hair and my thick layer of underwool keeps me dry and warm. So throwing snowballs won't do anything. Plus, I have special skin which oils up the hair to make me even warmer. Eep. Aha, I have an idea. Mmm. <laughs> 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 I use my super long tusk to shovel the snow to uncover this yummy grass. How will I ever be able to eat it all by myself? Ha ha ha. I'm a little bigger than the biggest elephant, but my ears are much smaller than an elephant's. 
I come from the cold northern part of the world, where scientists have found entire woolly mammoths, hair and everything, frozen in the ice. People usually get mixed up and think I'm a dinosaur, but I'm really an ice age animal. Eep! Okay, wise guy. <laughs> he got me all right, but at least he knows where the herd is. I thought you knew where they were. Right, let's get on with it then. I am Eotyrannus, and this is the early Cretaceous period, over 130 million years ago. Oh, these two young sprouts here are juvenile Eotyrannuses. And fine young fellows they'll turn out to be, I can assure you. Today, I'm about to teach these fine young fellows how to hunt the mighty... Comsonathus. Yay! Eotyrannus fossils have been discovered in these parts of what is now Britain. It's where Comsonathuses are found as well. And Comsonathuses just happen to be our favorite meal. Isn't that right, chaps? Now, some of you may think that all members of the Tyrannosaur family are to be found in either Asia or North America. The fact is, we're all over the map. My name, Eotyrannus, means early tyrant lizard. Yes, we Tyrannosaurs are certainly the most ferocious carnivores. That means meat eater to have ever walked the face of the earth. Why, eh? What's all that racket then? Where was I? Oh yes. Now, we Eotyrannuses are a bit smaller than our cousins, the Tyrannosaurus rex. But we're just as skilled as the next chap when it comes to what we're really good at. Namely, hunting the mighty Comsonathus. <laughs> and that's what we're going to do today, right chaps? Now the most important thing about hunting the mighty Comsonathus Keep your eyes and ears open at all times. Ready, Sprouts? Let the Comsonathus hunt begin!